Kirsten, we are going to have an exciting day today. Uh, I am well on my way to being out from under the thumb of Constantine Hurston. I no longer work for this company, but I am still living on Hurston. I still enjoy this planet, but I like being my own man in charge of my own destiny. I like that I, I no longer have to toil away mining when I can, uh, you know, spend my time doing my own thing. So today, we're going to do a bit of mining, I guess? I mean, go with what you know, right? So, bounty hunting worked really well. I made quite a bit of money. As you can see here, almost 65,000 UEC. So, we're going to... Hello? Hi. We are going to spend money to make money. You know that that's the important thing to do. What you should do is you should uh, oh, hold the elevator. Sir, hold it. What you should do is spend money to make money. You can't, you can't just expect the money to always come to you. What you need to do is you need to, to take charge of your own destiny. Wow, this looks so good. Take charge of your own destiny and uh, set your path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, invest in myself. I'm going to head to a, a refinery station and uh, head to the refinery decks there. And we're going to, to rent some equipment uh, because I can't afford even the, the cheapest mining equipment after the the hand tool. I can't afford a rock yet. I'm about half the, the price of a rock, maybe a third of the price of a rock, if I wanted to buy that. Uh, but I can certainly rent one. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to rent that. And I'm also maybe going to rent a larger ship, if I can afford it, that can carry the rock. And then I can go out mining for some more gems, because gems, have, as you've seen, are good money. Uh, Hand mining gems, maybe not the best money. Uh, bounties really outperform that. But once you're in a vehicle, I think we we have a good chance of uh, being able to to expand our our empire a little bit and, and earn quite a bit. And really, all I have to do is earn more than it costs to rent those vehicles. So I'm going to be heading to the nearest uh, the nearest station. So when you get into your ship. You're going to zoom out of Hurston, and we're going to head to HURL2. This is where we're going to go. We're going to go to HURL2, and there is a station there. And once we get to that station, we'll be able to go to the refinery decks uh, at Faithful Dream, and we will uh, pick up there. So maybe I will cut here, get into my ship, fly to HURL2, and uh, we'll come back when I am in the the main lobby and we'll head to the refinery decks so we are now at faithful dream station which is hurl2 so this is the two number two lagrange point over here those are all the refinery parts of the space station and then we can see these two arms sticking out this side. They kind of come down in an L shape here. Those are the the landing platforms. So just like landing at a planetary location, uh, just know where you're aiming, head towards them. When you get closer, you're going to get a uh, uh, ATC, like the landing control. Uh, there it's popped up now. It's right there. We'll request that and we'll come in for a landing. Once inside, um, you want to put your ship into storage, so at the kiosk to store your ship. Find the elevators and take the elevators to the refinery deck. That's a, a bit of a long elevator ride, so I'm going to come in for a landing here and then I'll do a little bit of a cut uh, until I'm in the refinery deck. So that way uh, we're, we're saving a bit of time on this video. The elevators aren't hard to find, it's not a very big station, and just make sure you head to refinery deck and you're good to go.
Okay, so those outfits are new. I've only seen these. This. <gasps> look at how good he. Dude, you look good. Oh, he's got like the like reflective heat. Is that Crusader? That's a great cat. Wow. That he looks. Ooh, he looks good, eh? Man, that's so awesome. So up here is where we sell mine goods. We haven't graduated to let's go up there yet. We are our downstairs folk at the moment. Um, remember your mining tool? Your mining tool that you use to like mine gems? Uh, like these. We got our aphorite. You can see here aphorite. Decorative jewel. Crystal. Prizeless. Multi-hued tones. We've got some of those. Hadonite. Crystal oscillator sought out for extremely high frequency of vibration, which makes it useful in various applications. Kind of like a, if you have like a quartz watch, that's the hadonite. Then we have the dolivine, dull green gemstone that is used actively, but also can be used for industrial purposes, thanks to resistance to weathering and high density. So, you know, like the drill bits and whatnot. These are what we were mining with the gems. We're going to keep mining them with the rock. Uh, we have a few other things here. Uh, I don't know what they are. It take me a while to find out. We've got Dolivine Ore, we've got Aphrite there, we got some modules. These are for on your uh, your mining heads, the large mining heads. These are large mining heads here. We got the uh, the Impact 2, that's not a bad one. The Helix, that's a really good one, but as you can see, 108,000 UEC. So a massively expensive one, where this one is 57,000. Still, that mining head, more than all the money we have. Uh, the Hofsteed, fairly cheap, not really worth it. I would say no to getting that. We've got a few different outfits here we could get. We get that nice jacket and stuff. Pretty soon we can start buying, you know, sweaters and shirts and things that we, we don't really need. Uh, those are NPCs standing on chairs, kind of normal around here. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got the Pembroke armor again and the Russack armor. So if you're looking for the Russack armor, uh, there we go. Uh, it's, uh, it's available here at the uh, the mining stations as well. These are cool looking jackets. I like them. Uh, what else we got here? We can also buy the mining attachment and the cutter attachment, which has no current use at the moment, but it will soon. And then we have a, I don't know. Are those are those more cutting attachments. Oh, interesting. Got some shoes. Interesting. Hello and welcome. This is me from the future. I've actually returned to Faithful uh, Dream Station after picking up the rock because I think we need to get the Pembroke. I flew a little bit around Hurston and didn't find anything really worth mining uh, quite easily. So we're going to go to some of the other moons. So unlike renting the rock and renting the Cutlass, purchase the Pembroke armor if you can. Uh, look at this is 10,330 UEC. However, this, unlike the rental, is something you're going to keep and something that will come in very handy. Uh, I was going to get it anyways after our first sale of Hadonite or whatever we found with the rock, uh, but I'm going to just buy it now. So if you can afford this, buy it now. Otherwise, you just have to work a little bit quicker. Whenever you buy the armor, don't forget to buy the helmet, another 5,000. Add that on. So now if you look, we've spent a lot of money. We have less than 10,000 left. So we've spent another uh, 15, 20,000 ish uh, on on gear. But now this is gear that we are going to use. Oh, that was the wrong key. That was at four. This is gear that we're going to use in our mining. So I'm just letting you know that this would be a good thing to buy right now. Uh, I believe it's under undersuits. Yes, Pembroke armor. Save changes. And then we're going to put the helmet on, which is armor. Helmet. Perfect. So, so we need that because we're going to be working on a very hot planet. We're going to go actually to a moon. We're going to go to Ariel. So now we should have all the Pembroke suit on. Like the Russack, this is something you have. You can take on and off. The one drawback of the Pembroke armor is it does cover a bit of the, the bottom corner of your uh, your Moby glass at the moment when you're trying to use it, which is kind of annoying, but hopefully they're going to fix that. So we have the Pembroke armor on, uh, we have the ship, so I'm going to now uh, return to to present day where we go and I show you how to pick up your rock. 
Uh, we're going to go get that on Hurston. Uh, when I say I'm going to fly around a bit and search for some items, uh, that will jump to us heading to Ariel, which is a, a better location to mine for, for mineables. And actually it'll show you the two types when you're scanning. So it's a lot easier for you to know what you're looking for. So, so this is a little bit of a, a, a glimpse to the future. But I'm going to now head back to us, picking up our rock at Hurston, and then from there we will we'll, we'll go back to present time where I am now heading to Ariel. Almost 65,000. What we're going to do is we're going to rent two vehicles, which will probably use up most of our money. We're looking for a Cutlass Black, and we're looking for the rock. Now the Great Cat Rock, if we want to rent it for one day, it's going to cost us 4,301 UEC. If we were to buy this vehicle, um, I think it's about 170,000, which isn't a lot, but uh, renting it, super cheap. So if you don't have much money and you're on a planet surface like Hurston, you could rent a rock and try to drive around to find it. Uh, but if you flip it, they're very hard to flip over. So we're going to rent this for one day. So there we are. Confirm rental. One day, we're going to get our rock. Uh, the next thing, we're looking at Drake and the Cutlass Black. So Cutlass Black is the best Cutlass to rent to carry a rock. So it's got quite a bit of cargo space as you can see here, uh, so we can fit a rock inside there. 34684 for one day. We're going to rent that and they'll leave us with 25000 ish We're going to rent this. So now for 24 hours we have a Cutlass and we have a rock and we're down to 26,000. So we have gotten rid of about 30,000 worth of our, our hard-earned money. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go after these. The rock only mines Dolvine, Hadnite, and Aphrite. It doesn't mine things like, uh, like Quantanium, or the gold, or diamonds, or any of those other things, just the gems. So we're gonna head back to the elevator, and I'm gonna head towards like we're going to start out on Hurston. Uh, Hurston is in some ways a better place to mine with a rock and in some ways it's not as great. But we're going to head to Hurston and I'm going to explain why there. So I'm going to hop on, back on the elevator and uh, I will call the uh, the Cutlass and maybe I'll, I'll edit so we're back when we're in the skies over, over Hurston in the Cutlass. So We've lucked out. We are on the sunny side. Look at this game. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my god. I love just enjoying the view. Like, what a beautiful planet. I can't wait till the cloud tech in the next patch. Uh, we'll be able to see, uh, be able to see, hopefully in the next patch, we'll be able to see clouds and we'll be able to see potentially Orson. So remember, hit B again so you can uh, see the, the beacon because we can't see where we're heading right now. We know it's roughly around this area, but hitting B will give you the distance, even though we're too close to go to it. Pinewood is one, I believe, that does have Platinum Base. So if we can't find it here, we'll, we'll head there. But we're going to head towards Sherman, which is this one here. So as you can see, we are over the surface of Hurston. There's a quantum beacon. Quantum beacons are uh, something that is created by a player in order to call other players to that position, whether it's uh, potentially for a pickup uh, or looking for someone to help them out with something. We're going to try to find a place with a uh, platinum bay. I believe uh, Pinewood has one. So we're going to to jump over to Pinewood and we're going to land there and hopefully we can pick up our vehicle. So I'm just going to head over there and when I'm over Pinewood, I will I'll come back. I just thought I'd point out the quantum beacon. So we are getting closer to Pinewood now. Now remember, if you can never find exactly where you're going, hit B again, and even though we're too close to, to jump to it, it will show up on your screen so you know what to aim for. But we can see the landing pads coming into view here. I'm going to slow down a bit as we get closer. I just love the little details and like the atmosphere here the sun looks beautiful coming over over a year I just every time I play I just I'm still blown away by some of the stuff in this game so we're coming in closer and what we're looking for is the two little pads so I will show you what they look like when we get closer 
but as you can see I think that's them right here on the side yeah so these two pads here the smaller ones that are side by side those are the ground pads that are a platinum B uh, we can also see that there's someone there if I hit tab and then right click we can see well maybe that's not a person maybe that's just a platinum B weird anyways we are coming in for a landing we're gonna come in right close by those pads when on the ground if you're ever looking for the platinum B look for the blue lights on the the little antenna on the top of the building so when I go here I'll show you now remember we're on Hurston which is great because we don't need a uh, expensive suit to keep us alive we don't even need a helmet to keep us alive Hurston unless there's a big storm on you're quite safe so this is the spire I'm talking about, and you can see it's got a blue light up there. So that's how you find the, in the, a dust storm the platinum base. So we're going to head inside here, and we're going to call our rented rock, which is our mining vehicle, and then we're going to do some rock mining, very similar to hand mining and how it works. Uh, you just mouse wheel up and down after you've scanned it. So we'll go here, and Grey Cat Rock. We've got it for another 23 hours and 21 minutes. We're going to retrieve this light mining. So light mining is the gems, not the larger rocks, not the huge um, things that can be cut and blasted open by a prospector. As you can see, there it is there, uh, or an Argo mole. So this is for things Hadonite, Dolivine, and Aphrosite. Aphrite. Again, I don't know why I can never remember the name of that. So here is your Grey Cat Rock cute little buggy kind of like if you've ever used like a, a bobcat or anything like that back here is cargo so you can access the cargo there and then on this side here on the front the whole front opens up so we're gonna enter the driver's seat it's gonna close up now one thing hit R again one thing I like to do is hit F4 it's much easier to drive this when you can see outside Unlike using the mouse in a ship to steer, you're using using D and A and S and W for all your steering. So, so I'm going to aim to get into the ramp of the Cutlass. It's a bit of a tight fit, but it's not too bad. It's definitely a lot easier than like a freelancer. As you can see, there's lots of oh, I see lots of space, and I hit the wall. Don't go all the way forwards because you're gonna then hit F4, hold Y, and you get in get out. You could turn off your engine too, probably the smart move to make, but I didn't do it. Go over here, we're gonna close our ramp, and there we are, the rock. As you can see, plenty of room to fit your rock in here. So it's a good step, a good ship to do the light mining. Now another good thing about Hurston is that all the surface mineables on this planet are things you can mine with a rock. So I'm going to hit I because I've turned my engines off at least on the ship here. And we're going to we're going to get up. Now to be safe, to make sure that you're not near anyone so that they can find you, don't mine near uh, places where everyone else might be going, like where you've picked up your rock. So fly a bit away and we're going to head a little bit higher and we're going to fly out. And once I'm out a little bit of a distance, maybe about 10k, then I will come back and show you how to start mining for, for rock mineables on this planet.